Hello grade 9 math class. Welcome back to another lecture. Uh, this is the last in this unit uh, titled dividing. I think it's the most difficult and we're going to do long division because sometimes you just have to do long division uh, and we're doing a lot of this obviously without a calculator so it's just not an option. Let's hop right into a few questions and I know there's only three on your paper. I've got a bonus fourth one for you. That's pretty tricky. Uh, let's go. So 28 divided by 4. When we set up long division, the number that we're dividing by goes uh, right there. And we put our other number under this type of half rectangle deal, which is 28. We're going to move from left to right here. We're going to see if 4 goes into 2, and it does not. So we expand this number to include 28. If it went into two, then we would uh, be writing the number that it goes into it, how many times it goes into it up here, and we'd be moving on. But it doesn't, so we're just gonna see how many times it goes into 28, and if it's an even number of times. Uh, I know that four times six is 24, so four times seven is 28. So four does go into 28 seven times. I'm gonna write that. And I'm going to subtract the two numbers. So 28 minus 28 is clearly 0. And when we have 0 at the end of our long division, that means that we are done. Uh, there's no more division to be done. So 28 divided by 4 equals 7. 7 is our answer for this particular question. If you think, hey, that's super easy, well, let's get on to a few slightly more difficult ones. Let's go to 225 under the box, and then we have nine beside it. Uh, does nine go into two? No, it does not, because we're working from left to right in this case. Nine it goes into 22, though. How many times does it go into 22? Well, it goes into, uh, it turns into 18 if we multiply it by two, and it can't go any more than that. So we're gonna write a two up top and 18 down here, and we're going to subtract these numbers. Uh, 2 minus 8 can't be done, so we're going to go back to our subtraction part. We're going to borrow, turn that into 12. 12 minus 8 is 4, and 1 minus 1 is 0. So we're going to leave it, and we're going to draw down our 5. So we have 45. 9 goes into 45, it turns out 5 times. So 9 times 5 is 45, so that means it goes in there 5 times. 45 minus 45 is 0, and that means that 25 is our answer. 9 goes into 225 uh, uh, 25 times. Um, yeah, nice and easy when it works out. Let's go down to the next one. And at any time here, I encourage you to pause and try it on your own and see how you're doing, because then you can watch me complete one. All right, I'm just going to shift this up just a tiny bit. Let's do 308 under the box and 14 on the side. 14 does not go into 3, but it does go into 30. It goes into 30 twice, and it makes the number 28. We're going to write a 2 on top. It goes in there, it makes 28, so 30 minus 28. Again, we've got a borrow. 10 minus 8 is 2, and uh, does this, oh, I, I wrote a 1 instead of a 2. That's why I was confused. 3 minus 1 is 2, not 1. So 2 minus 2 is 0. We can just leave that. We're going to draw down our 8. And again, 14 goes into 28 twice. It's nice and even this time. So 2 times, and we get a 0. So that means that 308 divided by 14 is 22. That would be our final answer. Let's get into the bonus question, which I think is a little bit more difficult. Let's do this. We've got... 2, 2, 1, 0 under the box, and we've got 34 on the outside. Okay, so we're going to go 34 does not go into 2, and it doesn't even go into 22. So when I was looking at this question, this is where I started to get a little bit like, oh, this might be tricky. Uh, so we have to go to 221. How many times does 34 go into 221? Uh, I immediately thought that uh, 35 times 6 is 210. So I'll just write that over here. 35 times 6 is 210. I thought that immediately. So if I do 34 times 6, that's 204. Right? It's going to be 6 less. So I just do 6 one last time. So 204 
would be a multiple of 34. And I know that it's six times, because I just did that. So the six can go up there. And then I'm going to subtract. So 221 subtract 204. I got to do a little borrowing, right? To turn that into a one, this becomes 11. 11 minus four is seven. One minus zero is one. And two minus two is zero. So that's good. I just leave it and I draw down my zero to 170. Does 34 go into 17, unfortunately? No, it does not. But 34 does go into 170. Uh, I believe it is five times. Yes, five times. 34 times five is 170. That's like, we take 204, which we know is times six, and we subtract 34, so that it's like it's times five. This becomes 170. Um, so yeah, it's 170 goes in there five times. So we have 65 as our final answer for this question. It's a little bit tricky. These are when you get into larger numbers, it does become more difficult, but it is always the same process and you can work through it uh, methodically. If you guys have any questions about that, please let me know. But thanks so much for watching everyone and I'll see you soon.